Hey guys, my house here Point Control. Uh, I'm going to do a short video about uh, what to do when you first get your Point Control, unboxing it, what comes with it, uh, getting familiar with it before you put it on your VR headset, as, and then we'll do a calibration as well as install it on a G2. Um, this one here is lovely packaged by my wife, Carol. Hi guys. <laughs> Thank you for that, Carol. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's, uh, let's go through it. Um, let me see if I get the camera. All right, so here we have the box without the label. So what do we get? Well, you got your 10-foot USB cable, your LiPo bag, your magnetic charging cables, and this uh, this adapter, which I want to make a separate video about. It's uh, not really an adapter; it's a charge monitor. A uh, great thing for us to have uh, in ton of uses, not just with one control. Your magnetic chargers, and then Kitty Carol packs everything right in here. You've got your little bag with your um, stuff to help attach it. Your HMS with the buttons attached to it already, and sticky tape. The FCUs are on the other side, and there you have it. And let's go through the items, do the FCUs first. Um, three buttons on them. I won't go into detail because it's on the pictures. Basically, just one and two, they should not turn on. Button three, which is furthest back, you should see them turn on. And they'll time out after, after uh, I think, 15 seconds I set them at now. To turn them off. Uh, and then when they time out, that's just turning the LED off. When you uh, press any of the buttons, it turns the LED back on. If there's no activity for 30 minutes, it does shut down, um, but then it's just turned on by a simple button press of three. Uh, as you can see, they already timed out. If I want to turn them off, I'm going to press and hold the uh, button number one, press and release button number uh, three there, it'll flash and turn off. And you can see it's off by pressing one and two, it doesn't turn on. Same thing, press and hold button one, press and release button three, flashes and it turns off. Okay. And it should not turn back on. All right, so here's the FCUs. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in our our um, HMS. Just going to make sure it works. Uh, first time you plug it in, you'll see it'll uh, it'll load up and tell you it's loading point. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in our micro USB. It's tough to get old. Can't see anything. All right. I'm going to plug it in. Oh, there that setting up device point control v2 I'm sure you've heard that okay so there it is it's plugged in and I could point around at stuff I've got this light up here it's actually uh, I turned it so you could see the IR you can see the cursor is moving around um, but more importantly what we want to do is we want to test the FCU so you can actually put them on at this point And you just, just snug them up. Uh, I designed it so you can't make them too tight. So if you make it too tight, it will loosen up. But it uh, loosens up to a good point. I never had a problem with it. Some of the guys like to wrap it up backwards. That's fine, too. All right, so now you can see my FCU's off. I'm just going to press the rear button to turn it on. And you can see right now it's just actually following my finger. Uh, you know what? Let me make this so you can see it better. Let's make a big cursor. So now you can see the uh, the FCU is moves with the cursor, and either one. Oh, got to turn it on first, and either one, and you can see how flashed off to the right. When it goes out of sight, that's where it parks, and it parks there, so it's not stuck in the middle of your view. Uh, it'll park there, and then it'll time out. It'll turn off. Not here, obviously, but in VR, it'll turn off. So it's supposed to do that. Sometimes you you might see it for a minute up there. All right, so the FCUs, you know, they're following the HMS. Now we can also check our buttons. This function is just like a mouse. So I'm going to left click, and, and I can draw my box and release it. Left click, release it. All right, so that's my regular left click, just like if I use my mouse. Left click, same thing. 
Okay, uh, right click gives us our context sensitive menu. You can see I can click it slow and you can see how fast this, this uh, actually um, uh, transmits your, your uh, key presses. So you'll put really fast there. So it's very, very quick. 200 frames per second. Uh, it's updating the uh, clicks even faster than that. But anyway, so and we can do the same thing with the left and right. Uh, see my LED is off. I just press the button. It turns it back on. I'm testing the left click. Testing the right click. And then if we want to, we can test the scroll on a, uh, on a page. We'll do that later, though. But so now we know that, hey, cool, everything's working. You know, everything moves right. And it's... Uh, before we're involved with the VR. Now, the setup, to set up uh, point control, there's just really two things we have to do. We have to set what are called cursor, uh, cursor targets, which are things that we're going to point at in VR and, and then align the, the uh, mouse cursor with them. Uh, but we just want to set these, these targets so we can see them in our VR headset. And we're just going to simulate that. We're just going to kind of simulate that right here. Um, by entering the setup mode. Um, you can always factory uh, reset, I actually talked about these buttons briefly, uh, factory reset or correction, just a reset is the left button and that's just like turning it off and on. If uh, for some reason it stops tracking or you have another conflict, it'll just uh, reset it. It doesn't turn it off permanently. The next button on the right is our button for <clears throat> to enter the, um, to enter the, uh, the setup mode. And what we do is we press and hold that for five seconds, and we'll see the cursor move down the screen, and then it's going to do like a backwards four. That backwards four is representing the five-point calibration. And you can, you can still use your, once it's done, you can still use your mouse and navigate, even though we're in setup mode. Um, but you can see the cursors doesn't work. What we do is we change between the two options, five-point calibration, and if I press it, it now does a diamond. The diamond is representing the cursor targets. And it just alternates between those two. Just the left FCU. So the five-point calibration is kind of the backwards four, and the diamond is the set cursor targets. To enter the function, we're just going to press button three. It's going to move down the screen, and now we'll see two flashing cursors. And the way we move them is, and ultimately we'll be in our, our VR headset, and we want to put those so they're just in our field of view. And we move those with the left FCU. You can see if I press, I can move them closer. Pressing button one, further apart, pressing button two. But what if they're offset and I have to uh, move them? Well, then we press button three. And what that does is now it turns those buttons into toggling, moving them back and forth together. So we're going to be doing this inside the VR headset. But this is, this is good to do just to get familiar with it. And we can just go back and forth all day long, adjusting them. It's not all day long, but you know, adjusting it so it, uh, it works for us. All right, so once we have the width done, and then we're going to go to the height. And the next button we have to press is the button 3 on the right FCU. And that's kind of like the next step. You'll see the cursors will go to the top and the bottom of the screen. You can see one at the top, but you can't see at the bottom because, unfortunately, the way Windows is the cursors, it's below that. So we'll just make it a little bit smaller and you'll see it come out. But you'll see them in VR. Um, same thing, you press the left button to move them together. And then basically you just want to adjust this so it's at the upper and lower limits of your, of your view when you're in VR. Again, this is done in VR, but this is just getting us familiar with all the buttons. All right, so we get, we get these centered up. We want them close to the edge of our field of view so we can see them clearly. Uh, once we're done with that, we're gonna press button three, or button three on the right FCU. Now, there is a little bug that I cannot fix. Um, if it doesn't advance to the next step, you just have to press the left button to go back to moving them closer and further apart, and then it'll, it'll accept it. Cursor's going to move up the screen. It's now going to take us to the set uh, five-point calibration. It takes us to that point, but we don't actually enter it until we enter the press the button three that enters the, the screen. Okay, you see it's flashing off screen. That's just to keep the cursor active. It sends it over there every now and then so the cursor doesn't time out while you're trying to do five-point calibration. On some systems, it does still time out. I don't know if it's just a ones with a high refresh rate. And you just have to move your cursor, move your mouse a little bit, and it'll make it reappear again. All right, and so then in VR, the way this is going to work is we'll be in VR. We'll pick something. I'll show you this later. We'll point at it. We'll uh, left-click 
turn it on because it'll probably be off and we click on it it's going to jump to the left and then we're going to point at it again this isn't the exact procedure but this is a procedure you could use click it over here point at it click it over here click over here and click on it and once you're done the way i'm holding this you can see the cursor really kind of follows my hand pretty good you can see it's it's, it's pretty fast it's uh uh you can see when it goes off the screen it times out but this is just you know this isn't how it's designed to be used but it's uh oh timed out but it's uh you know kind of gives an idea what it's all about all right so that's that's basically it um it shows you point control it's really just a you know it's kind of turns your screen into almost a tablet as far as a touch tablet goes and wherever you point is where it is um you know is where the cursor is you interact with your buttons by pressing you know your keys but once you do this you'll be a little bit more familiar with things um if you get all screwed up or have a bad calibration you can do a factor reset by pressing the uh, button on the right followed by the press and release the reset button you'll see the cursor move across the screen and now you're at a factory reset calibration, which I think I did for the yes, but I'm going to change it to the um, the reverb since nine out of ten of you guys are ordering the reverb. Um, and there we go, we're back to the factory calibration. And you can see it doesn't go past the edges because that's where our window is in, is in VR. All right, I spoke way too much. Uh, I'll get the uh, I'll get the reverb and we will uh, install it.